Hi everyone, it's CJ, and I thought I would do a flip through of the uh, mixed media morsels that I've been making. If you have not been involved in that, you might check that out. It's been a whole lot of fun, and you can learn a lot from this also. Check out the mixed media morsels that Cat uh, Han has um, so graciously put together for us. So, let me go ahead and show you what I've got here. This is a container I'm currently keeping them in, right there. It looks like a little, like a little trunk. Uh, and until I decide just exactly how I'm going to bind these together, that's the way I'm going to keep them. But I'll go ahead and pull these out of here if it will cooperate. This cover right here, I'm going to have that as my cover. This just happens to be one that uh, I was in the process of making just about the time that Cat Hand started all of this. And uh, this would just be like a, a thank you to Cat Hand. Uh, this has just been so much fun. I look forward to each one of the pages that you create. Okay, so I'm going to have to flip each one of these because I've got what it is on the back. Um, this one is going to be where we've applied gesso to the back and then put plastic wrap on there, let it dry a little bit, and then pulled it off. Let's see, I think I've got another paint right here. Yeah, let me look at this. Okay, this one is a collage that we did, and I've done a couple of different ones of these. Uh, this is a smaller one that I went ahead and just left with the group. This is the alcohol technique, and I really like the way that turned out. I had to use several different um, attempts at doing this simply because I didn't have the store-bought alcohol. <laughs> I tried the drinking type alcohol in it, but I'm going to here to tell you that does not work. This one is a glue resist, and I, I like this. Uh, but it was a lot of work getting that off there, and I think it was my own fault simply because I waited too long to try and rub it off. Okay, and then here I've got several of these tissue paper techniques. I just fell in love with this. I, I do this a lot now. Uh, this is one. Here is another. And another. And then this one. This this kind of reminds me of a real old antique paper. Okay, here are the ink sheets, and I was in a lot of different ink sheet swaps over the years, so not all of these are mine. Some of them are from uh, what I've swapped over the years. And this is, I did the uh, washi tape that same way. This is Circles, and I really like this. It's a metallic type paint. You can see that glimmering on there. It says you'll never look back. We did houses, and I did three of those. This is the first one. Basically, this was just a cutout that I had, and then I painted the other part, almost where the heart is. Uh, let's see, I forgot two there. Nope. <clears throat> this one is a set of stamps I have. I dearly love this little set of stamps. It's a large number of buildings and trees and just different things that you can put together and it's fun to play with. This is more of a collage type that I did on the side. I wish I had done it the other direction. These are my whimsical birds. I thought they were super cute. This is a mask, where you just mask off a certain area. <coughs> Excuse me. This is torn paper. Learn to play. Play to learn. That's life's motto for me. Okay, the next one should be create a journal cover from a box. And I've done that many, many times, so I'm, I'm going to leave that one out. Um, 
This one is going to be paint inside the circle with Q-tips. Okay. This one is borders. And I just used a bunch of pre-painted uh, jelly prints that I had and put on there. Okay. This is mosaic and cut out each of these little pieces. And I just have this picture that I thought was really neat. I think it's from a <clears throat> from a book, Unspoken Circles. Forgive me, I've got <clears throat> allergies today that are just going crazy. First, we had a whole bunch of rain, uh, like the floodgates were open, and then today we've had nine earthquakes. Uh, the biggest one was 5.6, and so we're all still kind of jittery about that. Okay, this one is, um, where are we, butterfly embellishments, and these are just some little butterflies I put on there. This was tissue paper. I think that's what it was. No, napkin. I'm sorry. This was napkin. I have it down wrong. Wavy words. You know, got bigger and smaller. And I love this quote by Winston Churchill. Never, never, never give up. I used to tell my students that all the time. And this one is Doodle. No, I'm sorry. Where are we? We're at Silhouette. I did the Silhouette of the Butterflies. And this one is Tissue Paper. And with this, I just glued uh, several strips of tissue paper down to a large area, and then I cut them out into the shape of the sun. And this was Doodle. This is one of my favorite ones. Oh, I love to just sit and doodle. How many of you sit there while you're on the phone just kind of scribbling away? This is Outline Letters, and I'm going to say I did this wrong. Uh, probably should have used, like, the written cursive word rather than the box letters. I made a note here on the back to do it more like this. This is hand-painted tape, and this is uh, actually from my uh, handmade washi tape, and then I cut it into strips. This is Find Your Own Path. Okay, we are at... Hmm. See if I have this one wrote down. Random note letters. I don't have that on my list here. Okay. Uh, cut from different magazine pages and color me happy. These are tissue paper posies. And the next time I do this, I'm going to crunch these up more and add more layers. And this is stencils. I've got six different stencils on here. The only thing was it got a little bit muddy after a while. This is using the crackle texture on there. And you can see kind of like in there and there. I really like that. The bottle of it that I had is, gosh, I don't know, must be seven or eight years old. And uh, afraid it wouldn't work, but it did. It did just fine. And the last one I have is uh, Scribble Scrabble. That's number 28. That's what we're on right now. Basically, you just take a pen down, take all kinds of doodly lines, scribbling all over, and add your color. Uh, first, I kind of left just the white, and I thought, ah, I think I'm going to add something to the white area. And now it kind of gives me kind of a, a, a party feel about it. <laughs> Happiness, yes.
Okay, so there it is. That's my 28 mixed media morsels um, that Cat Han has presented to us in the group. If you've not checked out her Facebook uh, page and her uh, YouTube page, please do so. It's well worth your time and you'll learn a lot. So, thanks for watching. I'll check with you later. Bye-bye.